Happy Tuesday evening. I'm News for Jack's meteorologist Rebecca checking in on the latest with your forecast. It was gorgeous out there today. We had partly cloudy skies and it wasn't as hot. We we're in the mid 80s and that's because cooler drier air is moving through our forecast area and it'll make really lovely things happen tonight. We're expecting to turn cool under partly cloudy skies. If you live to the west of I-95 you'll see mid to low 60s early Wednesday morning. If you're along into the east of I-95 you'll see upper 60s and if you're right at the beaches you'll get down to 70 degrees overnight tonight making for several hours hours of windows open weather tomorrow morning, but then we do warm up quickly into the upper 80s for the afternoon under partly cloudy skies and will be a little less breezy than it was out there today. Moving into your extended forecast, after tomorrow we're getting really wet. We've got waves of rainfall pushing across our state from the Gulf, moving northeast, starting on Thursday and into Friday, so widespread waves of showers there. Then over the weekend, we get warmer and stormier, so it may not rain for as long of a period of time, but we'll see thunderstorms firing up and affecting most areas on Saturday and Sunday. Monday, we cut those chances for rain down a little bit, but afternoon highs are flirting with the 90s there. Moving forward, your forecast depends heavily on how far Tropical storm Cristobal passes from us, currently forecasted to kind of head towards Texas and Louisiana. The further away from us, the drier our forecast would be, but right now one of the forecast models shows Cristobal passing close enough to drag a plume of moisture across the entire state of Florida, resulting in three to five inches of rain Sunday through Tuesday. So that's something we'll be keeping an eye on. For more information, you can read our detailed analysis on newsforjax.com. Have a great night.